Uh, the Honorable Speaker, the Honorable Speaker, thank you very much. I, I want to be very, very brief. That, that under the standing order 20A5, immediately I did write to you communicating our decision to remove the Honorable Sabina Chege as the Deputy Minority Whip. We expected you to communicate the same to the House. Mr. Speaker, on the 11th of April, when we expected that communication to come from you, you did the unexpected and opened up debate over the matter. Mr. Speaker, I protested against that decision, but of course, as the Speaker, I had to go by what you decided. After the, after the debate, which in our view was totally uncalled for, I rose to ask you to give us a firm undertaking as to when you will make the communication. The Speaker, you will recall that you declined to do so. And again, I respect it. The Speaker, I want to bring to the attention of this House, and indeed the whole country, that under Article 4, sub-Article 2 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, that Kenyans fought for and some died for. Kenya is a democratic, multi-party state governed by the principles and values under Chapter 10 of the Constitution. One of the cardinal principles of this House, one of the cardinal duties of this House is to protect multipartism. Mr. Speaker, this House cannot be complete without the minority side. This House under the Constitution can only be complete with the majority and the minority sides. And therefore the minority coalition deserves respect. We deserve respect from everybody else. It is not the duty of the majority coalition nor is it the duty of the Speaker to decide for us who is our whip or deputy whip. And that message must go home clear and loud, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it is now a month. It is now a month since I did write to you. Since I did write to you, it is now a month. And therefore, that, that delay definitely means that our side is incapacitated. We cannot manage our affairs properly because we are having a serious vacancy in our leadership. I want to implore you, Mr. Speaker, that it is also your duty to ensure that this House runs smoothly and that this House, there is order at all times. It is also our duty as leaders of the House from both sides that this House runs in a manner that upholds its integrity and credibility. But in the manner we are moving, Mr. Speaker, if we cannot get a mere communication on a decision by ourselves to remove one of our own from a position to which we placed her, then there's no need for this house to continue to start business. There's no need. There's no need. Are you done? Then we can as well pack up and go home. All of us. Okay. Yeah. You are finished? Order. And you know, Mr. Speaker, you know, Mr. Speaker, you will be hard in silence. I am not the kind of person that can easily be intimidated. You know that. Have you finished? I can never be intimidated by any person. Never. Oh, never. No, oh no, and I finish up. Never. Thank it you. It can never happen. And therefore, and therefore, I want to say this: that Mr. Speaker, kindly read the read. Give the communication now about the Thank you. You're done. Order. Order, honorable members. 